Hi everybody, this is Lee of CJ Drill. Now, what are you looking at here? Let me tell you. This is a texture, and it's common. It's called orange pill. But not everybody is in love with this texture, and I'm going to show you today how to apply a different texture to cover this up. Coming up next. Now, whether I'm working inside my shop or I'm outside in the elements, right in the rain, all weather notebooks, keep my notes in good shape right in the rain notebooks repel rain sweat and grime so what we're going to use to cover up that orange pill pattern are we going to use texture rollers and that's what these are now i've done those videos before where i've shown how to use a texture roller but what i haven't shown you are the new patterns this is called serengeti and this is called bear claw so let's find out what these patterns look like. Now I've got a hot dog roller because I'm in a tight confined area. But if you're doing a whole wall or doing a ceiling, you'll want to use a proper size roller, at least nine inches with uh, at least half of an inch nap. That's the thickness of the material the nap is. So let's roll this out and I want to draw something to your attention because I'm just going to do a little bit right now. So you'll want to mix a little bit of water with your joint compound to make it rollable. But you don't want it so light that it doesn't hide the existing orange peel. You don't want that telegraphing through. But you don't want it so heavy that you can't roll it. What I mean by a rollable consistency is you want it to be like cake frosting. You want the texture to hold its form and not collapse. You see where you've got little sharp points? That's what you're aiming for. So your first step is just to get the joint compound on the wall, okay? Okay, you don't have to worry about creating a pattern here. All you're concerned with is laying the texture on and then the texture roller is going to put the pattern in. So it's time to put the pattern in. We're going to use our texture roller here. But before you get started with it, just dampen it a little bit. You don't want it sopping wet, just damp. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the left hand corner and work my way across, slightly overlapping the pattern. Now what I will tell you about this pattern is it's very random, but I have to tell you, I do like it. It's random, but there is a pattern to it. Again, this is called the Serengeti. Now I've asked the camera person to pull away so you get an idea of what it looks like at a distance. And as you can see, there is a pattern to it, even though it looks random. Now I've rolled out the wall again and it's time to try our bear claw texture roller. That's what this is here. And I'm really curious about what this is going to look like. Now I dampen this one as well. Again, remember, just damp, not sopping wet. Let's get started. Okay, let's put in that pattern there. And again, we're starting from the upper left-hand corner, coming down and overlap. So this is our bear claw pattern. I'm going to ask the camera person to pull out a little bit so you can really get a look at what the pattern looks like. Now what I will tell you is this pattern is more pronounced and more aggressive. Now one last than the option I want to show you. This is a little more labor intensive though. It's to start with a smooth palette. There's a joint compound here. See? There's a joint compound. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our texture roller and go across and you're going to really be able to see the pattern. So this is bear claw. So when you do it this way, 
you get a lot of flat spots. And these flat spots really, really show off the pattern. So let me also clean this off and I'll show you the Serengeti next. Now I'm going to show you what the Serengeti looks like on a smooth palette. Now this is what I want to say about these textures, the Serengeti and then the Bear Claw. Don't be afraid to experiment. Try different ways of applying it and you're going to get a totally different look. You know, you can hide that ugly um, orange pill or sometimes, you know, there's a little residual left over from a popcorn ceiling if you remove a popcorn ceiling. This is a great way to disguise that. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.